welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Orthan Dressen, and today we're going to be looking at all the wrestling news from Friday. We start with WWE announcing that Serena Deb, formerly a member of CM Punk's Trade Society, you may remember her getting her head shaved in the middle of the ring, and a competitor in the Mae Young Classic, has now been named as the newest woman's coach in WWE's Performance Center. Absolutely fantastic. I, I like uh, that fact that we can hopefully have more female coaches to mould and shape the female competitor of the future because I want WWE's women's division to become one of the best in the world and I think she could help that happen so congratulations to Serena I, I have no doubt that you're doing an amazing job then we go to an interview with Big Lee Wrestling MVP commented on his Raw 25th appearance by and far and away I was the sharpest dressed poker player in the building at the end of the day I made a very nice payday to show up in a suit play cards and say hi to my friends no bumps I win it makes me laugh because people are like, congratulations on going to Raw. Congratulations for what? It's a date. I'm going to work. It's a one-off. Thanks, I guess. Not that big a deal for me, with all due respect. I can get that, to be fair. It's like, you, you've got to go to work. It's not really that much of a thing. I, I can completely see where he's coming from. I really do want to see him return. He said, I want to get re-signed to Stupid Debris just so I can make an XFL appearance at a game and then take a knee during the national anthem. <laughs> oh my god, I'd love to see him do that. I mean, I'm not getting into the whole football taking a knee in the national anthem thing, but ju just for him to just pop up, put his knee down and leave would be fantastic. I love MVP. That's amazing. Uh, then we go to... Um, oh god, that's way too long. Uh, WWE reaching a deal with TNA. Mike Johnson has um, reported that WWE has reached a deal with Impact Wrestling to license content of Matt and Jeff's Hardys uh, run with the company. This opens up the door for the footage of the Hardys and Impact Wrestling to be shown on WWE broadcast and DVD releases in the future. So, broken Matt Hardy? Please? Make this happen? Show us the broken universe? Please? This could happen. Uh, and then in an interview with CBS Local Sports, Edge commented on Paige's injury. You know, I don't know. It is tough because if that's the case and she does have to retire, I haven't heard anything in the past uh, past the initial speculation. It's such a different case because when I retired, I was 37. I had accomplished everything and that some I set out to do within that industry. So there wasn't anything else besides wanting to help some younger talent and teach them. That's what the next mode of your career was going to be so it's a different scenario i guess all i can say is if that is the case she did a lot she got a lot accomplished she won the women's championship she stood out you just try and focus on the previous the positives instead of drawing on the negatives that's really all you can do in that kind of situation but i don't know if there's a magic elixir or perfect sentence you can say to make that easier to swallow um i, I get his point here edge I do get that point. Uh, if if you've got a horrible situation, try and focus on positives. Like, I was women's champion. I did this amazing storyline. I stood out here. Instead of going, oh, I'm never going to wrestle again, you can just look back on the history and go, I, I did a lot with my career. I did an amazing job. I That's the one very good way to look at it. And then there was a report circulating online that Daniel Bryan was pulled from his access VIP signing on the day of WrestleMania 34. That is not the case. The session simply sold out and that's why it was moved from Ticketmaster's page. He is still, still scheduled for Sunday morning at 8am and Dean Ambrose is still scheduled for 10am. So to clear up any speculation there, Daniel Bryan is still at the access at 8am on WrestleMania morning. And Braun Strowman was asked about the stiff punch he received from Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. He said, any time in Brock... I and I are in the ring. It's very physical. You're talking about two larger-than-life human beings who are fighting for dominance. Stuff happens. It's a contest sport. It's not tennis. We're not going out there to slap a ball around. We're going out there to beat each other up. That's what we did. Fair point. Absolutely fair point. Uh, and then, uh, Booker T has invited Corey Graves to appear on his podcast to clear the air between the two. Uh, his tweet said, I'm going to address all the news from this past week on my show tomorrow. There's been a lot of things said and I'd like to publicly invite Corey Graves to call in and clear the air. He went, gladly, you have my number. 
So by the sound of it, he's accepted. So we'll have to see what happens and I'll report as soon as I know anything. And then Xavier Woods posted a video on Instagram which looked like a teaser of a game show on WWE Network starring The New Day. It had Renee Young and the three and they were popping balloons and it had the word who knows WWE. Like It sounded like it's going to be called WWE Who Knows. It's going to look like it's going to be a network show. That's all I can see for now. I mean, it looks like a barrel of laughs because it's a new day. So I'll keep you posted. But a game show on the WWE Network, I'm excited for that. Uh, and then um, Seth Rollins has publicly called out the TSA after someone allegedly stole some of his pre-made meals from his lunch. He tweeted, when TSA steals your uh, terrific jet system meals, I don't know, hope it was good. You cowards left with 13, landed with 9. Hmm. Damn. <clears throat> and then, while recently appearing on Edge and Christian's podcast, Elias commented on the process of writing his songs for WWE television. So the good thing is, I know where I'm going to be next week, like Saturday's coming up, and I've got live events, but I'll be honest with you, I write a song for every city I go to. So tomorrow for NASA Tune, I'll have a special... Na I'll have a... A special uh, sad, sad tune, and I'll come up with something for each one. But I normally have the idea heading in there what I want to sing about or talk about, and it helps writing a song a little easier when it comes to game time. I get okay, good point. Uh, so he knows where he's going, so he gets an idea what he wants to do, which is pretty decent. Uh, and then, um, joining an appearance on UFC tonight, Dana. White was asked about Brock Lesnar coming back to the Persian for another fight. Anything is possible. Brock has always shown interest in coming over and fighting here in UFC. I wouldn't be shocked if he gave it one more shot. Fair, fair point. Um, and then I have the unfortunate news. According to YouTube's account, <coughs> uh, Heal by Nature, Tamina Snooker had surgery to repair a torn rotary cuff. Uh... She had a limited role in the Royal Rumble match, which would make sense. And she's expected to be out for six to eight months. Jesus. So, we'll have to see where this goes. I'll, I'll confirm prob probably if it is real. It does sound real. Uh, sorry, Tamina. Shit. Anyway, that's been the wrestling news. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give this video a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.